Fantastic. So I'm here today at Chester Racecourse, um, just at the start of the Chester Marathon, the Chester MBNA Marathon. And we've got four Olympic hopefuls uh, with me today. Uh, first of all, we'll go over to Natalie Macy, a uh, disability swimmer, three, three triple world record holder, is it? Fantastic. Um, what kind of feeling does it give you, you know, less than a year to the Olympics and the Olympics, of, you know, the kind of atmosphere around the country? Oh, it's a big buzz. Um, like everything at the moment, well, everything in swimming for me is focused on London. You know, everything we do, every training session is focused on London. And that is my biggest dream. Uh, it's the biggest competition in the world. So it's pretty scary as well. It, you know, a lot of nerves, but it's really exciting. And what are your hopes for this? Um, <laughs> I've got big hopes. I want double Paralympic medalist gold. Um, I'm just second at the moment in the world, but only by 0.25 a second, so I'm going for gold. And what kind of advice could you give everyone today running? Um, just do the best, enjoy it. Um, and when you're really feeling in pain and the lactate's kicking in, just go through it best you can. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Natalie. And on to David McNamee. Uh, what is it like to kind of train for an event like this and obviously in your discipline? Uh, yeah, it's sort of a lot of long days and a lot of hard training sessions, uh, especially sort of during the winter, some things you just can't face going out the door again, but sort of somehow you manage to get yourself sort of out the door and get it done and sort of it's on days like this that sort of all your hard work comes and sort of you see what you've got and what you can deliver. And is it, you know, getting up in the morning, sort of the early mornings, and, you know, just really having to think, yes, you've got to keep going. Uh, yeah, definitely, you know, you always have to sort of think about what your goal is in life, and sort of, yeah, you can't wake up every morning, get up really early and go training without sort of having that drive and determination. Thank you very much, David. And on to Jack Merrick. Um, how do you think these guys are feeling today? You know, they've, they've kind of got off and they're thinking this could be one of the biggest challenges they face, 26 yeah. miles. Probably feeling quite cold as well. It's, it's quite chilly today, but um, yeah, always going to be nervous before something that you've trained for for a long time. So uh, these will all be wanting to get the best out of the uh, best that they possibly can today, and uh, they'll be they'll be quite nervous before they start today, I'd imagine. And what have your preparations been like building up? Uh, to um, just picking small, like little goals, like yearly goals each year for about the last three years. I've had uh, a major championship each year, like World Youth Championships, World Juniors, European Juniors. I've managed to medal at them all. So uh, yeah, just setting my own little goals and. Uh, just making sure I progress each year and uh, I'll hopefully keep doing that and get to 2012. And, Thank you very much. and Stephen Mason, modern pathlete. Um, what are your feelings today on the event? I mean, it's a huge event, lots of people have turned out um, in running today. Yeah. Do you think that uh, we're going to see some fast times here? I should, I should think so. It's quite a nice day, good conditions, quite calm. Um, rather them than me, I can, I can say that for sure. <laughs> And what do you think, uh, you know, building up to, towards the Olympics, how have you felt it impact you uh, since, you know, we've won the um, Olympics in 2005? Yeah, I think for British people, you know, it's just that added bonus, like everyone wants to get there that little bit more. Um, obviously, if you know yourself, you're in there with a chance. I think there's quite a lot of added pressure just, you know, to eventually get there if you can get there. And have you felt, you know, the nation starting to come together, you know, in the build-up? Um, the yeah, everything seems to like start falling into place now everything like all the all the venues are getting a bit more ready and everything in london seems to be pulling pulling together finally oh, that's funny thank you very much guys um are you starting the race off today for everyone not sure you're not yeah. Yeah. You, you're the, the start entourage so ah absolutely. the start entourage yeah. fantastic yeah. well that's brilliant guys take care and good luck next year thank you, thank you.